on that way! She's Howdy howdy, it's Harry here. Just putting the boat in. We are heading out offshore a long way out to sea. If you've heard of fads, then you might know what we're doing, but I'll tell you more about that out there. Let's get out there, check out this water. It is just like a glass off at the moment. So keen to get out there. Let's go. All right, we're out here now on the water. It's looking really good. As I said, we're heading 20 to 30 Ks off the coast. We're not even gonna be able to see land probably when we're out there. Here with Talia, she's very excited to get out there. And Christian here, he's hey, a, a local photographer. All right, super, super excited. I mean, today isn't exactly about me getting mahi-mahi or dolphin fish, which is what I'm chasing or what we're chasing. It's about uh, getting these guys. Uh, these fish because um, Christian hasn't been out there before so he's keen to get onto them and um, Talia has been out there once but when she did go out there she missed a dolphin fish and she was spewing. I did, I was. Um, <laughs> and she's been having some dreams lately, some positive visualizations of you know that she's gonna catch one. What have you been dreaming? Um, I'm just like visualizing me being in the water and then he's on my left I can see all the fish in front of me, and then I have a gun, I'm like slowly <laughs> lining one up, and then I shoot, and I get it. Yes. Got it, you know. Well, that's the plan today, so <laughs> you've heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> Going out. just rocked up here at the fads. This is the fad. You might be wondering what fad means. It's fish aggregating device. You might be wondering what aggregating means. Me too. Um, so I googled it. It's uh, aggregating apparently means grouping. So it's a fish grouping device. So basically this thing there sits in the water in the middle of nowhere and it's almost like a little bit of a point of attraction for these dolphin fish which are international fish. They swim around the whole world pretty much in tropical waters particularly and find these and swim around them almost like their own little ecosystem and that provides them a bit of food and shelter and they'll swim around anything if you find anything out in the ocean like uh, driftwood or palms or these things uh, there's potential for dolphin fish to be swimming around them so let's jump in and check if they're swimming around this one We're just about to jump in. We're just up from the fad. We're gonna go down with the current. Talia's gonna jump in. We're just gonna have one gun. And that's gonna be with Talia. So the pressure's on her. Oh no, don't try do and that shoot. To me. Don't do and, that. <laughs> and get the fish. It's not about me getting one today. We really want to get her under one. Go. Welcome. Yeah. Holy shit, that's so blue. Oh my god! Alright, follow me, I'll try and aim this up properly. <laughs> Man. <laughs> 
It is quite hard, it's quite rocky, so we're on the surface, you get moved around. So I thought I'd have a go, and um, I managed to bring them in. It took me a little while, but yeah, nice dolphin fish, especially to open the season in New South Wales. Happy. I'm so oh, that was frustrating, man. That was frustrating. Okay, Talia's jumped out. Giving up the feet for now, for now. I'm gonna get Christian in there, see if he can get onto one. And um, yeah, but we're feeling a bit woozy right now. Some dolphins have come in to say hello. Oh. Oh. What do you reckon, mate? I'm so happy. <laughs> Bad. Uh, the trip over was great, dolphins everywhere. That was really cool. And um, yeah, now we're at the next one. I'm just going to let Christian and Talia get in to have their chance at maybe some dolphin fish that are a bit more inquisitive. I'm feeling a bit nervous about dropping Talia in um, without me because I like to just really hang right next to her and make sure she's all right. But Christian said uh, he'll be looking right after her, staying with her, and guiding her onto the shot. So they're chatting away there and hanging together. So that's good to see. It's a nice dolphin fish in there. Oh man, it's gonna feed us really nicely. Really keen for that. Uh, they're a great fish. I mean, that one's a 74 centimeter one. Legal size is 60, so plenty of room to wiggle there. And they're one of the most sustainable fish in the ocean as they grow extremely fast, up to four centimeters a week, which is just mind blowing. So they're extremely sustainable source of food. Oh, I'm hearing something good. What's going on? Oh, sick! Okay, we got the fat all to ourselves, and they're just telling us that there's fat, the, the, that there is dollies everywhere.
I'm just hearing some yelling from Talia. She's screaming, got her hands up. Maybe she's got one. Oh, I'm so excited for her. Let's go check it out. Think about it. Oh, no way! She's got a good one, apparently! She's fighting it! Look at her go! Holding shot too, it's good. Wow! Christian's just talking me through it, saying she's got a good holding shot and a good sized dolly. Maybe she's even shown up me. I was talking a lot of crap about her, but she's really pulling her weight here. Badass Talia in the middle of the ocean. 20, 30 k's off. Oh, you can see the light! Go. There's Christian there supporting her. There's Talia fighting it. Mine on the game. Take your time, take your time. Talia, take your time. Talia, you want to grab Talia. his... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay you grab his tail first. Okay. Just in front of the tail first. But take your time. <laughs> Look at you go! What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> How good's that? <laughs> <laughs> you did not. Wow. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, look at the colours on it. I did oh, good. Yeah. You killed that. <laughs> oh my no god. No pun intended. That was awesome. Look at it. Look at the holding shot. Okay, what happened? So Tell good. What happened? I, I actually don't know how I did that. <laughs> yeah, you I, do. I feel like I saw like. There were maybe a couple that were a little bit bigger than the rest. It was the biggest one in the pack. Wow. The biggest one. Really? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> That's amazing. Here, I'll help you. Wow, it's got beautiful colours, doesn't it? Oh, what a woman, hey? How good is that? <laughs> then wow. I was served. <laughs> so you saw, saw them first, Christian? Yeah, I saw them coming in. I noticed Talia was just a bit further behind me, so I tacked her on the shoulder, brought her in front. And look at this. <laughs> <laughs> How happy are you? I'm so happy. How nice is this day now? It's so smooth now. Why wasn't it like this this morning when it was all windy? This is what the forecast was meant to be. So nice now. Yeah, just chilling, reminiscing on what's happened today. It's been a good day. Talia's got her first dolphin fish. Yay! Bucket list ticked. Unfortunately, uh, Christian didn't manage to get onto them today. Had a few close calls, but they just. They get a bit flighty at times, especially on the surface. It was it was quite hard to aim for them. Was it? Oh, the way you thought? Hundred percent, hundred percent. You get up to them. It's the first time going around a dolly before, and mm. you didn't realise that as soon as you see them, they get quite spooked. So you got to try to look away, and then get onto them when they come close enough. Mm. I just didn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we all had a had a miss or two today. So yeah, it was tough. <laughs> yeah, we'll five for Talia. <laughs> we got there eventually. Ah, uh, cool. So cool. Um, to Tar for now, but we'll probably see you in there. We're keen to cook up something something awesome with the Mahi Mahi, but this would be bye for Christian. He's a photographer, as I mentioned. He's a local photographer from the area. He takes some epic, epic photos, and he wanted to do like this passion series, which is basically where he takes photos of someone, you know, who's doing their passion, basically. And um, yeah, he's taking some epic photos today, really keen to see them. And if you want to see them, they're on his uh, Instagram, Quincy's Travels, and I'll put the description below. Should be some cool shots. I'm keen to check out what he's got to offer. Well, we'll see. I can't say yet. <laughs> Okay, what a day out yesterday. That was awesome. So we're gonna do something special considering Talia's providing the food for us today. <laughs> uh, we're gonna make uh, poke bowls. We love poke bowls, we eat them a lot. So just thought we'd uh, share them on the channel. Uh, what are the ingredients we got here? Oh, firstly, what I've done is I've marinated, uh, I've cubed up the mahi-mahi and marinated in it, like, kind of like a sweet soy sauce mix. Get them on the pan soon. Then what else we got? Edamame. Edamame, it's a must. Uh, we got quinoa and rice, more dry edamame. 
Just if you want some crunch, edamame. Uh, what do you call this before? You got this uh, cucumber... Ribbons. Cucumber ribbons. Fancy. I can't. Can't? Ooz! Wow, that was made me look good, didn't it? Mm. And kimchi. If you don't know what kimchi is, it's... Uh, I don't know what... No, I'm joking. No, it's <laughs> It's cabbage. fermented cabbage, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, quite good. A lot of um, probiotics in it and stuff like that, so... Quite good. And I like it. It's really? crazy. Oh my god, it's gonna roll in the water. <laughs> Last. Lastly, some avocado. So, it should be a good poke bowl. I'm very keen for this. Oh, and also some sriracha mayo. Love this stuff. I, I, I put this on my wheat bix. Like, yeah, I use it all the time. Love it. Okay, let's cook this up. So, oops. yeah, nice. Oh, that. <laughs> Tali is on the, on the vegetables, on the green stuff. Yeah, Tali is queen of the vegetables because she eats a lot of vegetables. She's a vegetarian, though she does eat uh, what, what I catch or now what we catch <laughs> because it is caught not bought. Caught not bought. It's caught not bought. We like it caught not bought. And doing it caught not bought is also extremely great for the environment. Speaking of good for the environment, um, yeah. yeah, when I took off this, uh, I'm actually using these, which is basically like reusable glad wrap. So, um, I order these online and they come in all different sizes. They just stretch over bowls and it means that I'm not unnecessarily using Glad Wrap. Um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm sure being an ocean lifestyle channel, there's a lot of people who watch my channel who really care about the environment and the ocean in particular. So I feel like I'm, I really would like to share the tips and tricks that we use to uh, reduce our footprint. So. so that's what I'm going to do here and there is just share these tips and tricks. I'll, um, if I can find a good link for these, I'll put them in my description. This is Albert, he's very excited for the food. We take him everywhere because he's so cute, but uh, one thing we don't take him near is the water or the boat because he doesn't like water, which is a shame. I'm very disappointed in you. <laughs> um, I wish he did. We took him on the boat recently and he actually didn't go too bad. So we might introduce him more to the water just gradually, but he doesn't naturally like the water. So I don't want to push him. Yeah, it's going in. Albert. Albert spotted a dog. Have a go at this. No. You want some crunchy stuff? Oh yeah, hit me. Alrighty, that is our poke bowl. I am happy with that. That's amazing. Mm. That is like better than the shops. Caught not bought. Caught by Talia. Not bought by anyone. I highly rate that. Highly recommend it. If you can keep your ears peeled and listen to a recipe or what we put in it, then do this at home. Yum. My God, I'd say it. Yeah, this is the best fish meal I've cooked, made, and had. It's been a good time. Tally, take it off some first. Hopefully, plenty more stuff like that to come. <laughs> Make sure to do all that YouTube stuff that makes me happy. Now I'll be happy anyway. But you know what it is: like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. I will see you in a hot minute. <laughs> oh, no way! Look at you go! What the hell? How's it